we focus on increasing the embryo quality by helping generating the best embryo by modifying lifestyle. I'm Hye Jun Lee, a gynecologist and CEO of Kai Health. So one in six couples suffer from infertility. That's more than you think. But fertility treatment is expensive and has a low success rate. And the success largely depends on embryo quality. So at Kai Health, we focus on increasing the embryo quality by helping generating the best embryo by modifying lifestyle. And second, culturing the embryo in the personalized and best way. And third, selecting the best embryo for transfer. With the limited time, we're going to focus on embryo selection today. The current embryo selection process is subjective and very invasive. We depend on embryologists' eyes and experience, and genetic testing is very invasive, and it's not allowed in countries like Singapore. So at Kai Health, using AI, we're going to change this embryo selection methodology in an objective and non-invasive way. So we collect data from 12 clinics in South Korea and one clinic from Malaysia and one network in the US and we're talking with three Singapore IVF clinics. With the data we collected, we developed so far five algorithms including pregnancy prediction and blastulation prediction. I'll show you a little bit of our product. So our product is a cloud-based solution so you can either take a picture or upload your embryo images and within a second our AI solution will tell you what is the best embryo then you can actually save it and then generate a report and all of those and then we checked if it actually works in a clinical setting so before we actually do the clinical trial at hospitals using patients embryo we tested it out with a blind test um, so with images and embryologist uh, accuracy was 36 to 37 percent without using AI's assistance. But with AI score, their accuracy went up by 10 percent. And AI alone could predict the pregnancy 25 percent higher than embryologist. So it means less time to pregnancy and less cost. We launched our product in February 2023. We are a very young company. And within three months, we contracted with four clinics. Our solution is a software as a medical device. So pre-approval, we sell to directly to the clinics and collect payment annually. And after approval, we can actually collect money from patients through the clinic. We all think AI solution is just not easy to make money, but I think fertility market is different. It's expensive, out of pocket, and the willingness to pay is really high and patients spend thousands of dollars on optional treatment, and we're gonna become one of those options. Our global strategy includes in, no, US and Spain because of the market size, and Asia is actually one of the top priorities because there's no competitors. We are the only player in Asia and with a very large data set. And Singapore is very important to us because obviously it's a hub, if you want to expand in Asia, you got to come to Singapore. And also because it's a mixture of public and private services, it's an ideal place to run a POC. And because Singapore is a medical hub for tourism, you know, it's easy to take all this diverse data with the race and different uh, ethnicity, which is essential for AI development. I'm a gynecologist and I was practicing as an IVF doctor 10 years ago. I quit practicing. And I went to MBA and I worked in a healthcare tech industries for a while in Silicon Valley. And my team understands fertility data and we are ready to go global. And we are backed by Smilegate Investment and TransLink for here. And we are a proud DCAMP family. Our vision is to become a family tech company, starting with fertility treatment, fertility care, all the way to egg freezing and contraception. So we want to help people to build healthy family. Thank you.